two. It's a disappointing score for the Ukrainians now dropping down to fifth position. Now this is an absolutely vital performance for the Russian team and it's the first time that we see Lobazjuk, Ektorina Lobazjuk and she really does have an awful lot of pressure upon those young shoulders and this will be the measure of the world title in the women's team competition for 1999 the Russian women's beam performances well the young Russian qualified into the all-around competition which of course will bring to you on Thursday live on Eurosport in 14th position but 9.325 was her beam score there and Monica that indicates that it didn't go the way that she would have preferred and she really does need a clean routine here she actually looks under the weather she looks as though she's got a cold got a very red nose and um, you know if she is under the weather and if she is being put up that tells us that the, the, the Russian camp are running out of quality so she has got a runny nose And if she is just a little bit under par, she looks as though she's sort of breathing through her mouth rather than her nose. And if she's not in peak fitness, then it, uh, it might be that the strength and depth of the Russians isn't quite what we assume it, uh, it might be, or what it has been in previous years. There's no question, it's adding to the tension. Does Romania need to see a glitch in the Russian performances? The director cutting away to shots of different judges looking a little perturbed, really making it even more edgy watching this. Last performance of the Russian team on the beam, last performances of the Romanian team on the asymmetric bars. The Russians have the advantage, and in gymnastics terms, it's a commanding lead. But of course, they need to get four good scores from five performances down in their beam today. showing absolutely all the symptoms of being in total control. Let's hope she can stay that way. The perfect rhythm, the variety of tempo throughout the exercise, which has been practiced time and time again. Never a break in its natural rhythm of the routine. All the little body postures, even those little flickers of the toes are something that she probably always does. Big skill here. Oh, standing Arabian. Never, ever have I seen that look, ever in the world. Never seen it before. Seen it from a combination free walkover, free walkover. This is brilliant work. Oof, bad, bad. Took her eyes off. I don't know what she was looking at. But if she can manage to do that, she is quite a gymnast. See dismount. But really <laughs> wonderful stuff. Well, she may have a cold, she may have a runny nose, but that was the calmest and coolest performance we've seen. I was expecting a disaster there. She showed us tricks we've never seen before, and that was tremendous. Eating the pressure up as she went along, and some sheer brilliance in many, many places. Yes, and even when she comes off, that you can see the gymnast saying, well, smile, be pleased, you've stayed on. <laughs> but obviously, somebody with a very low panic level. And, um, and a very low happiness level as well. Oh, oh there it is, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ekaterina Lubatschuk for Russia at a time when they need to put the pressure on the Romanians and extend their lead. Well, she's finally, it's just sinking in. Surely it's just sinking in. She stood there for what seemed like an eternity, absorbing all of the pressure. For me, that look across, obviously to one of the coaches, to check that it was time to put in the final tumble. Very impressive. 9-6 is the score, Russia going to third position, of course that's their first performance, but with all the pressure upon her shoulders, a relatively newcomer makes her mark.